can use something that is called a dentin graft. We can use the actual tooth dentin, pulverize it, and use the small particles as a graft material in certain indications. I'm going to talk about it more in the part two of the training. So what you need to do is take the root, put it in a special tooth grinder, pulverize it into small little particles, and I use these particles for a bone graft, as a bone graft. It's not a bone graft, it's a tooth graft. You can use the coronal part of the tooth. As long as you remove the veneer, which is porcelain, please don't grind porcelain, and you grind it in the special grinder, and what you're getting is a mixture of what? Of everything that is tooth structure. It's dentin mostly, some enamel, some cement, and of course, some organic material. So this system, and I'll get into the details in part two, needs to be, all this organic material needs to be removed and not placed in there. And I use the very simple compartment technique that you just learned, or I made you familiar about, and you're getting beautiful implant sites. And why does it work so well? And why can I go back in there about, about six weeks later, I can go into this site and place my implant because each particle has the rectaposition of bone. Each particle technically ankylosis. And you get very, very stable implant sites.